hi good evening Hello. hi teacher good, good evening. evening how are you i'm good <laughs> i'm good all right <laughs> nice one second i'm fighting with my speakers Let's see okay here we go can you hear me yes all right good Good evening, everybody. We have only four participants, well, five participants tonight. So, good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Yes, we have Mr. Carlos Ernesto, Herman, Catherine, Roberto Carlos, and Wendy. Hey, how was your day? How are you feeling? How are you doing? How is it going? I was, it was relaxed. It was a relaxed day, nice. Not that busy. Yeah. Good. Well, nice to hear that. Okay. Hey, Catherine, good evening. Catherine has it. Good evening on the chat, okay? So, I don't know if some people are writing or sending messages. Yes, yeah, somebody says, um, not able to be in class tonight. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, what's the date today? Uh -huh. I a long day for me, teacher. It was a long day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am. I am traveling to Guatemala today. Um, I am very busy. <laughs> very busy. Uh, so you you are connected from Guatemala tonight. Uh, no, uh, visit Guatemala uh, three day. Mm -hmm. uh, return to Salvador uh, Thursday. Third, on Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. So you are in Guatemala right now. Yep. You see an international student in our class. <laughs> and you are in Guatemala City. Uh, yeah, in, Guate in Guatemala City. Nice. How's the weather? And sun at yes. It's ten. Ah, sí. <laughs> Ten son sería entonces. <laughs> ah, okay. Son 10. Son That's ten. how you call it. And ah. how is the weather? Mm, for me, uh, I call. It's cold. Sí, it's cold. All right. Uh, 14, yes. 14 degrees. degrees. Yes. Oh, oh, when it's 14 in El Salvador, we're freezing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cold. Yeah. Yes, true. Yeah, we rarely, rarely have that uh, weather. <laughs> yeah, usually it's hot, right? Yeah. It's usually it, uh, very hot. Uh, the people are uh, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me decía, o sea, say, Told me. Uh, it's, it's está haciendo calor, very hot. A day. It's hot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> and you are on business. Yeah, it's, yes. For, uh, for business. work. Yeah. Okay, great. On a training. Mm, uh, visit a uh, customer. Customers in Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That's great. Enjoy the trip. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. <laughs> nice. I see, yes, still a few participants. I don't know what's going on. It's just still early, right? It's 8.05 here. I think that's why people are still incorporating to the session. So hopefully everybody's able to incorporate, okay? So just to share a little bit about the class and the generalities. Yes, today definitely is 
the class number seven. Yes, this is the session number seven. Yes, on Tuesday, October the 25th. Wow, this month flies, literally. Okay, so on this session, we are going to be practicing, you know, some vocabulary. We're going to be practicing vocabulary of previous lessons that we have studied. So that's what basically the class will be about, okay? So, as I said before, we need to paraphrase the information and the objectives, okay? We were naming yesterday, we started the unit two, we were naming the procedures going on in different areas of a restaurant. Okay, we're going to describe the steps of a procedure at the workplace. Yes, okay, so we're still in the first part of this unit too. Okay, so another thing that we will do, because it is suggested on the lesson plans, is that we are going to, let me see, yes, it's here. We are going to review we're going to review a lesson that we had on last Friday, I think. Yes, we studied the use of could in mind. We also refreshed this information yesterday, but we're going to practice a little bit more, okay, with these structures, okay? So this is practically what we're gonna do on today's class, uh, hopefully everybody gets connected all right so we're gonna have the attendance because it's kind of 10 minutes already let's go to the attendance page one second just need to access to it okay let's see my name i don't see my name wait a second they lost Oh no, where is it? Uh oh. One minute. Or here. Okay. Let me look for the date. The correct date is Tuesday, October 25th. Right. Okay, here we go. Adriana. Present. Hello, good evening. Uh -huh. Carlo Ernesto. Present. Sure. Hello. Cesar. Cristina. Elsie. Fatima. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Everybody has issues today with transportation, probably. Perman. Present teacher. Hazel. Rahir. Hector. Not yet. Okay. Here we go. Isabel. In traffic. Hi. Let's see. Not yet, Isabel. My goodness. Hmm. Catherine. Present teacher. Welcome. Lucy. Mayra. Present. Hello. Nuri. Present teacher. Welcome. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Samuel Antonio. Present again. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Vitelia. <laughs> Nahir. Okay, Walter. Nahir. Wendy. Hi, I'm here today. Okay, great. And Irma. Not yet. 
Somebody needs the link to connect. Oh my God. Where are, where are you, Ferman? Hi, someone. <laughs> yeah. Costa Rica or Guatemala? Guatemala City. Guatemala City. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Nice. We, we're going to share the link because some people say they cannot connect to the class. And Christina is at the hospital with her son. Oh, what a shame. We'll hope her son gets better. Okay. Here we go. Well, it's time to start. Let's see. I'm going to set uh, some groups and you have to talk about yesterday class. Whatever you remember, you have to have a short conversation to talk about what you studied yesterday, what you remember. Uh huh. If you already finished the platform, if you haven't had any issue, the vocabulary and everything. All right. Here we go. Talk about yesterday's class. If you were not here, you can ask, okay, or what happened, what they did, how was it? All right. Es lo que están viendo porque no podía conectarme. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Uh, Repasar la lección de ayer. Un review. Uh, ayer tampoco me pude conectar. ¿En qué página? En la 17. Sí. No, la 18. Teacher. Hello. Hoy, um, eh, tenemos la duda. Número uno, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? <risa> All right, the next one. Ah, y la otra es, ya sabe que nos gusta compartir. <risa> <risa> Ay, es true, un mensaje lo hubieran enviado. No, porque la primera no es por un mensaje. Ay, ah, es true, es true. No, you have to share. What you remember from yesterday? ¿Qué recuerdan de la clase de ayer? That's why you have to talk. It's just a conversation, informal conversation. Okay. 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 In Spanish. No, in English. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Entonces, nos habilita, please. Anybody remember? Anybody remember what they do yesterday? La página de ayer. Uh -huh. No he sacado el manual. Okay. Y hoy no lo han mandado en el grupo por creo también. Teacher, uh, in what page they stayed yesterday? Seventeen. 
Okay, number the step a waiter follows to take and serve an order. They kiss some order, confirm the order, see the kiss them. Uh, the correct, the correct uh, take order, um, confirm orders, and uh, yeah. different possible. Does it no se um, Talking about the importance, the pressure is pressure. El caso que te pasa. Ajá. Necesitaríamos eh, como crear, eh, por, por decirlo así, políticas de cómo lo podemos resolver. Ese es el tissue. Teacher. Ajá. Eh, number, number cuatro de. Hello. Teacher. Page yesterday. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ok. Ok. Get to food in passport. What do you remember about it, Elsie? Esa de formes. Bien, calidad de los de las comidas. Bien, miramos que pues sí, no, no deben de faltar los extintores en las cocinas. Ah, ya. Pues así. Ya, yeah, ok. Gracias. Check the... What is the group? The Adriana, yesterday. Uh... I don't remember. <laughs> no, pero, ¿cómo, ¿cómo puedo preguntar cuál fue? Was. Yeah. Was. Sí, was. Yes, but I don't remember the name. Okay. Mm, pero, which of the following? Eh, you answer the item number four, the page 17. Yes. Mm. ¿Cómo les quedó? Dice, we should be following our issue. Experience. In a restaurant. What is the most common user with service? Um, yo chequeé, the food takes too long to be server after ordering it. Mm. And the waiter is not polite. And the dish in the menu differ, differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. I tengo todas menos la primera. <laughs> <clears throat> Una vez nos pasó en Mamachus que fuimos y Ahí andaba el gentío para arriba y para abajo y no nos atendía nadie. Y el lugar solo. Ay, sí. No sale, no fuimos. Ya cuando nos fuimos, ahí sí, querían atendernos. Pero ya nos quisimos <risa> quedar. <risa> sí, nos quitaban totalmente el impulso de quedarnos ahí. Sí. A mí me ha pasado también que la comida en el menú se ve de una forma y en... Y ya cuando la traen es diferente. Uh -huh. Esa sería, ¿cuál sería esa? Ah, la de... La última. Ajá, the menu. The original menu differ, differs from the actual dish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you, Irma. Uh -huh. Antes de... The way... After... Always, the waiter, siempre como es. Always, to confirm the order. Eh, 
after Be the, the when first food. The Lo que se ve. Yes. Okay. Um, algo más. We do meti son so many. So no, sería son son what. ¿O cómo se pronunciaría eh, S O M O O N E? Póngamelo, pongo, dígamelo otra vez, de tres. Eh, vaya, en español se S -O? dice S O M O N E. S O M O N E. Ajá. N E. Omone. Omone. No lleva una Y por ahí. No. ¿Y cómo se qué es lo que dicen eh, lo, lo, traducido que sería en español? Fíjese que como en inglés el como el, el, el como el sinónimo todo lo saqué en inglés uh -huh. porque en inglés lo quería la teacher. Someone. Someone, ajá. Alguien. Ajá. Someone es alguien. Ajá. So, uh All right, I think some people are still in the breakout room. Okay, let's call them. Come back, come back. <laughs> they are coming back. Okay, in the meantime, tell me. Volunteers, raise your hand. Uh huh. What did you remember from the last class? Uh huh. At least what you refresh in the group. The team well, I think they. Yes. I think uh, you see uh, the different the different step to take an order mm -hmm. to serve the food to 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 get the payment from the client, to right. be grading after the dinner, and um, for, of course, confirm the order. And they, uh, we have to put the number to, to in order to make the steps. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw new vocabulary, like towing, mm -hmm. towing food or uh, sanitizing, a full of storage, purchase, and try to use it to to explain what what you have to do with these words in the in the moment of the of the dinner, for example. Uh, also, you saw in a dictionary the the meaning of some words, and mm -hmm. you have to use it. Uh, in a in, in a different kind of sentence mm -hmm. to the same to the same theme to, to the to the restaurant exactly vocabulary related to the restaurant services and procedures right okay anybody else what else what else we saw a little uh, review the cool and mike 
Exactly. Yes, we had a little review of food in mind. To refresh, right? That to add politeness, to sound a little bit more formal, we use my before the verb, like, or want, or suggestion, right? That was another thing we did. Uh -huh. What else? No more? That's it. Teacher, yesterday yes. uh, we were started the unit two uh, about the um, pre pressures. Procedures. Procedures, sorry. Exactly. Um, and uh, let me see. Uh, I started with the, the steps uh, the waiter followed to take an order and serve. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we discussed, right? Why is it important to follow procedures, to follow yeah. steps, right? Because yes. if you omit, imagine if you as a waiter omit one step that instead of greeting the customer, you just give the menu, but you haven't even greeted or cleaned the table or seated the customer, how would you feel? You say, what's wrong with this waiter, right? So maybe you will step out, you will leave the place because it's not what you expected, right? It's, I mean, as a customer, we tend to be really demanding because it's a service that we are paying for, okay? So exactly. what else? Anybody else? Um, the variety of the proced procedures. Mm -hmm. Also, um, discuss the most common issues exactly. with respect to the service. We also discuss issues at a restaurant, right? Yes. Ah, and you today will have the opportunity. I told you yesterday, be ready for tomorrow <laughs> because today <laughs> you're going to become actors and actresses. Hey, pero que esto le vale supernatural. I know. <laughs> <laughs> because people are very dramatic when they go to a restaurant and they don't receive a good service, right? <laughs> so people get like really mad, especially if you're really hungry and if you expected a good service and if the price is not that cheap either. So people tend to get like really, really mad. But you don't have to get mad. I mean, I told you yesterday as well that I mean, we got the introduction of this unit, even though it's restaurants procedures, but as customers, yeah, we can also demand for a good service in a polite way. We don't necessarily have to be angry, mad, or insult the waiter or the waitress because, I mean, that doesn't say anything about our values or the way we should respect others, right? So, definitely. Thumbs up for the ones that participated. Yeah, it's also good to be informed about the previous class. And that is the idea, of course, okay? To review, to get into the objectives of this lesson, of this unit, actually. Okay, so let's move on. Exactly, this was the introduction of the unit too, right? So we were discussing why the procedures in the restaurant are important, right? We say, yes, it is necessary. If people don't follow the procedures, probably the service, the quality of the restaurant is not the same, it's not good. Nobody supervises and they are going to start losing the customers, right? So we also discuss if a customer's experience in the restaurant is affected by the procedures. And then, yes, definitely you were named, I mean, yes, you were numbering the steps that a waiter should follow in order to take and serve an order. So this was the second part that we were discussing, you know. And then, of course, we were describing, we were finding actually the definition of this concept, okay? A vocabulary that we use in a restaurant, right? And of course, probably uh, you just give a definition 
or use the word in a sentence, right? So we say, okay, uh, a waiter should handle or needs to handle the food carefully because they may get confused with the order or they might drop the food, which would be a terrible accident, right? <laughs> okay, okay, confirm. We usually um, describe this uh, in the context of a restaurant is when the waiter repeats the order. So he's just confirming that he took notes of the food that you really ordered and that he didn't get any mistake or confused any of the dishes, right? And the number as well, because sometimes probably you order, I mean, if you go to a restaurant in a group of people, probably you order from the same dish two or three people, right? So he wants to make sure that he is writing or taking notes of the right order, the correct order, right? The payment, definitely, you know, it's a part of going out probably to a restaurant that we don't enjoy the most because it's the time when you have to pay for the food and the service, right? That you have received. Greeting, you know, like the first, the very first action that the waiter should do when you enter, when you go to a restaurant, right? And notify, notify, which was an action that usually the waiter or the chef or any person in charge should do in case they need to advertise they need to alert or let the customer know about something you know if the food is not in a discount anymore if they don't they don't have the same prices if a dish or food is not available and it's still on the menu right so we were doing a lot of this yes and then definitely the issues, right? So the issues was like the most, yes, uh, let's say extensive part. So which of the following are the most common issues? Yes, some of you were giving examples, okay? When the waiter gets you food that you didn't ask for. So when the waiter confuses probably your order with another person's order, and they say, no, I'm sorry, this was from another table. So maybe sometimes they are just not very careful with handling the right food and they confuse your dish, your food with another person's food probably, right? Another one that we were also discussing, the food takes too long to serve, to be served after order. And usually they go and take your order and you expect that, yeah, they get some time to prepare, to cook, you know, and to have the food ready. But sometimes as if they forget and they never bring the food. So that is definitely an issue because you're hungry, you get desperate and you ask, is my order ready or how long do I have to wait, right? So mainly if you don't have much time, mainly if you are in a hurry and you're really hungry, <laughs> I mean, and you don't go to a restaurant just to spend time there. You go to eat, right? <laughs> okay. Um, unless that you go with your laptop and you're just spending the whole afternoon there answering emails. But that's not the case usually when you go for lunch, right? And the waiter is not polite. Yeah, this was an issue to be discussed because we say, yes, there's not any reason to be impolite to people. But yeah, sometimes probably the waiters are not having a good day. Okay, so they say that it is also important to give waiters and waitress a good training and to know how to handle difficult customers as well. Because they may have like very difficult customers like every single day. And then the dish you want uh, to order is not available but it appears listed on the menu. So you find a dish, or you usually ask for this dish, but on that specific day, or on that specific occasion, the food is not available. So they don't have the ingredients, or they, that, they are not cooking that dish anymore, or they have, sometimes they have even made some modifications. They have changed some ingredients, or they say, it used to come with potatoes, but now it comes with vegetables. 
Yes, or you used to come with a uh, vegetable, but now we can give you cheese sticks, right? So they made some changes, but you have to be notified in advance before you order, before you get, you know, the idea, the illusion that you're going to have a, a certain dish and then you don't have it, right? Then the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. Yeah, you were explaining and you were giving this classic example that on the advertising is a huge hamburger, but when you get it, it's just a little piece of bread with a piece of meat, right? So they were saying that this is just for illustration purposes, but very, very little letters at the bottom of the menu. So yeah, those were some of the issues. And guess what? Adivinen qué. Guess what? Uh -huh. Alguien se le ocurre que era lo que íbamos a hacer. Yo lo mencioné ayer. Pero no sé si ya estaban sleeping. <laughs> ya estaban más en la cama. <laughs> on the pillow. Uh -huh. Any idea? Ustedes adivinen. Guess. Uh, lo, the last remember custom custom <laughs> algo así como que alguien va a ser el papel de un customer y el otro va a ser el papel de waiter waiter o una waitress van a ser un role play un role, un role play es como una dramatización aquí desafortunadamente vean no podemos tener como la table el knife los spoons y todos los utensils en el restaurant y el napkins and everything pero bueno we're gonna try so <laughs> we're gonna try our best okay so one person is gonna be the waiter and the other person is gonna be the customer or you can be two or customers actually not only one I mean can be two I mean because we don't usually go to a restaurant to eat alone right we usually go with somebody yeah I mean it's possible I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying that nobody does it okay but we usually go with somebody or with somebody else I mean like two or more people right so <laughs> think about an issue I told you like the food is not what you order or the food is uncooked like rot me, like with blood and everything, okay? Or you could even have hair in your food. <laughs> you can even have a bug in your food. I mean, we discussed a lot about these issues yesterday, right? So you're gonna prefer, get really creative. I prefer the hair. <laughs> I prefer the hair than the crocodile. <laughs> 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 than the fly, okay? So here is an example, okay? It says, hello, are you ready to order? So that's what the waiter or the waitress usually say, right? Yes, we are. I'll have the two appetizer and the stay for my main course. My main course or my main dish is the same thing. And then the waitress says, and for you? So they usually um, are polite, but they don't establish a long conversation with the customer because they are working and they are doing their job. Right, so the customer just says, I'll have the salad for an appetizer and the spaghetti entered. Can I get you something to drink? So it's like, what would you like to drink, right? Can I get you something to drink? Water, please. I'll take the soda. Coming right up. So it's like, it'll be ready in a minute, right? So coming with the food. So coming right up. And then the food arrives and the customers begin to eat. And then usually the waiter or the waitress asks, How's everything? Is everything okay? So they ask, how is the food? How's everything? Okay, do you need anything else, right? So delicious things. And then 20 minutes pass and the waiter clears the table. So they usually say, may I pick up the, the dishes or the cups and the glasses? So they usually tell you, yeah, may I pick up the dishes uh, so that you feel more comfortable? Yeah, that's something they usually add, but it's like, okay, you finish, you may go, you may leave. <laughs> so go pay. And what they do it in a polite way, right? So may I clear, may I clean up, right? So that's what they usually say. So the waitress clears the table, say, can I get you anything else? It's like, do you need anything else? Can I get you anything else? Like, 
dessert, any other drink, a refill if, if there is, or you just say a check. We'll take the check, please. So we we'll just get the bill to pay. And as I said, sure, here you go. So I'm going to share this example. You see, in this conversation, there was no issue, right? But you can modify it. After ordering the food, after ordering the drink, you can say, waiter, waitress, <laughs> I have an issue. I need to notify of this issue, or I need to report this. Uh, there's a problem with my food. Okay, this is not a dish that I ordered. There is something in my food. The meat is not well cooked. I asked for a very cooked meat or a well done meat, right? So you report the issue, and then let's see how the waiter or the waitress handles the situation. All right. Clear? Questions? Okay, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Let me understand this. <laughs> are our uh, script? Yes. Are, uh, is, si van a tener I... que hacer un script de la conversation, de lo que van a decir. Uh -huh. Please do it. <laughs> Porque si no, pues, like, I forget what we have to say. Y practice, ¿verdad? So you're going to be working with your partner for a little while. Y el script es inventado, teacher. Pueden usar de estas expresiones. Yo se las voy a compartir. Pero no todo está acá, porque acá no está el issue. Ahí ustedes lo deciden. ¿Qué issue? Yes. yes. Oh, the food is not hot. Or it takes too long to bring the food. Yes. Ok. All right. One second, please. Okay, do you want to be the waiter? Waiters? Yeah. Because we're going to do a, a, a role play uh, with a customer and a waitress in a restaurant. And the mm -hmm. customer put an issue to discuss anything about the food or the place with the, with the waiters. Eh, tenemos que hacer el, el, el role play del de mm -hmm. restaurante, cliente. Uh, los clientes. Ok, <ríe> perfecto. ¿Cómo, cómo lo, lo okay. armamos ahí? Eh, usted me llama y me dice, por ejemplo, Hi, uh, I have an issue with my food. Uh, excuse me, what kind of issue? Le voy a contestar yo. Uh, uh, my meat is no cook, no good cook. 
or not uh, it's blood in jet. Uh, excuse me, but your term was uh, water. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Termino me? medio, termino antes del medio, ¿qué termino esta de la carne? Ok, then I, I, no, I, I just know Qué bárbaro el logaritmo. <risa> Puta, solo le puse término, me puso términos de la carne en inglés. <risa> really? Literally. Sí, literal. Uh, medium rare. Medium, uh, rare, uh -huh. rare, medium rare, well medium rare, rare, medium rare, medium well and well done. Okay. <laughs> rare. Rare, medium rare, medium, medium well and well done. It's 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 uh it's funny because rare, rare row uh -huh. and rare. It's similar. Uh huh. And red as well because I thought it was red because of the color. Rare. Mm -hmm. Row, rare, medium, rare, medium, medium, well, well done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you say me, uh, my beef is row, mm -hmm. and I don't like that in, in this term. And my soup is cold, mm -hmm. and I found a uh, hair in my soup. Oh my God, that's a, a terrible place. It's a terrible place. <laughs> it's a terrible place. <laughs> and I will say you excuse me for this embarrassing moment. Generalmente lo anoto en el cuaderno. Okay. I will write in my notebook. Okay. Waitress. Wait. Wait. Ok. Customer 1. ¿Quién va a ser customer 1? Mm. Different. Customer 1. Me. <laughs> customer 1. Customer 2. Walter. <laughs> y customer two. Okay. I think. But in this case, we have to write our names. I think. Because we have num numbers. Uh, not knowing not, not numbers, in, in the, nom the name, our names in the conversation. I think. No, but we we good. have to write our names in the conversation. Yo creo que después va a salir el nombre, después los ponemos, pero ahorita solo como para ordenar uh -huh, claro. nuestras uh -huh. ideas. Good night. Uh -huh. Bueno, lo primero que es, yo los saludo. Ustedes uh -huh. llegan. Good night. Eh, les tendría que decir, welcome, ¿cómo se llama el restaurante? Uh, we have to think about a name. <laughs> Los tres huastecos, remember. Ah, no, pero no es nuestro o, o sí. Ese era el de ustedes. The winner Ese. of the restaurant, the tres huastecos. I don't know. I don't know who, who created the, the three huastecos. Who is the owner of the restaurant? The three was Teco so it's Mex it's Mexican food, I think. I, yes, I remember that. Guanaco, was... vamos a poner. Okay. Los tres guanacos. Welcome to... Welcome to restaurant... ¿Cómo diría? Welcome to three guanacos restaurant. Así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. oh, welcome, welcome to guanacos to... restaurant. Three. Come to three Wanacos restaurant. Lasagna. Ah, sí. Si. Lasagna. Ah, sí. Si. Lasagna. Ajá. 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 Do you have? Lasagna. Okay. Do you have? Eh... Me dice yes. Como la especialidad es pasta de bebé. A ver. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do know. We, we have 
chicken, yes, chicken uh, lasagna. We have, we have chicken lasagna. lasagna. Chicken I lasagna. want chicken, please. Uh, También hay unos que se llaman, ah, bueno, ustedes quieren lasaña, we have chicken lasaña, yes. ¿qué otros tipos de lasaña hay? Uh, eh, queso, la de queso. I prefer, uh -huh. I prefer eh, chicken. We have four, uh, four, four, cheese, four cheese, four cheeses, four cheeses, lasaña, uh -huh. and shrimp, camarones, and shrimp lasaña. And, ajá, uh -huh, shrimp. SH, ajá, uh -huh. shrimp, ajá, uh -huh. P. Eh, las... Lleva P al final, shrimp. Okay. Lasaña. Uh -huh. shrimp. Lasaña, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, yeah. eh, entonces les puedo, les puedo decir yo, eh, what would, what, what, what would you like, what, ¿cómo es? ¿Cuál le gustaría? Eh, no, como ahí ya me dijo que tiene, y ya me dijo de cuáles tiene, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yo le quiero Entonces preguntar yo le digo... de cuál le, le gustaría. Vaya, ahí, es lo, ahí le puse lo que le voy a responder yo. Roberto, ¿me escucha? Ah, sí, sí. ¿Lo puede ver un lado más grande, Wendy? No, así está bien, yo lo acerco, no hay problema. Ah, vaya. Pero este lado, como lo tengo... Entonces, ¿qué le gustaría tomar? Después sería la respuesta eh, para la, le diría yo, deme un momento. ¿Cómo le dice? Sería eh, soda. Wine. Hay, hay. Sure. Hi. Um, away from the uh, say the give a, a like a sorry for the inconvenience on an issue in the restaurant. Maybe we will we were very sorry for the inconvenience, and we have and you we have in the in the plate or the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. You can you can even that, give a uh, compensation. You know, you say, "Yeah, we're very sorry." In compensation, we bring this extra dessert, or we're gonna get you a thirty percent discount. On thirty percent check, uh -huh. or or is there free or something? A ah. new a new. <laughs> yeah, maybe just very little food but not the whole dish <laughs> <laughs> a new a new uh, food type of food or mm -hmm. something yeah okay uh, okay thank you uy vamos a escribir esa palabra bueno que ver no Hey, no, lo voy a buscar. No me acuerdo cómo se escribe. Stream. Ahí está. Ok. Hey. Uy, esperame. ¿Qué hice?
Okay. Sería así. Good afternoon. Are you ready to order? I have uh, customer one. I'll have the tomato soup for appetizer and orange duck for my course. And for gentlemen, I'll have the sandwich with salmon for starters and garlic uh, for start and garlic shrimp with my course. Okay, no, a ver. Después de eso, ¿qué pasa? Mm. Ah, no. Le preguntaba, ¿Can I do something to drink? Ajá, sí, es cierto. Ajá. ¿Qué van a beber? Va? Va. A ver. Why... Can I get you? Esta palabra siempre la escribo con minúscula. Ya me dijeron que, que I get you. ¿Eh? Me volé la. <ríe> Quiero ver si la. Ahí está. Can I get use something to drink there was no token drink okay entonces sería eh qué le ponemos al customer one Isabel. Lemonade. Creo que... No. ¿Cómo se dice limonada? Lemonade. No sé si está bien así. Sí, claro. I will take a lemonade with soda. Excelente. No sé si se escribe sin azúcar. Without sugar o se dice... Oh, free sugar. Free sugar, gracias. Libre de azúcar o... Oh. Coca-Cola Zero. <risa> Ay, qué excelente, Coca-Cola Zero. <risa> Sugar free. <risa> ok, eh, entonces aquí viene el problema. Coming right up. O sea, ya regresa el tipo. Ay. Coming up, I care. Ahí me quedo. Why is? Thank you. 
Martínez. Miss Nuri, you okay. order. Miss Can you Nuri. repeat my order? Mm -hmm. Miss Nuri, mm -hmm. you ordering, you ordering are tomato soup, chicken sandwich, and drink lemon ice. Uh, it's it's uh, right. Okay. It's correct. My order is, is correct. My order is correct. Okay. Uh, Mr. Martinez, no, Mr. Celaya. Celaya, yes. You, your order started is chicken salad. Yes. And my course on chicken ring, ring, and, and potato free or free potato. Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Fried potatoes. Uh, grilled chicken uh, and fried potatoes. And a chicken grill. Grilled yes. chicken. Grilled for chicken the main, for the main, for the main course. Okay. For the main course. Mm -hmm. And drink soda, soda. Yeah, and for cold. the ser mm -hmm. soda cold. Uh, so the lada sería. Mm -hmm. For the ser uh, cheesecake, it's correct. Yes, yes it's correct. Okay, boy. Y ahora le se lo llevo. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Cómo hago? Sí, Solo. No, no te... You could say here is your order. I think you you could say. Que llego, pero se los coloco en la mesa. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué les pido? <ríe> no, no, por eso es como decir, aquí está su orden. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Here is your order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. You can say enjoy it. Ajá. Ahora, ¿qué sirve ser mesero? <ríe> aparece el issue. You want to, to be the waitress, Magda. <laughs> you are the volunteer. <laughs> no, mejor porque así me pongo en el lugar del otro. <laughs> Jordan. Ok, me voy a decir, here is your Here is your order. Me encontré el siguiente en la web. Voy a dar lástima. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Enfrentarse eh... con dos mujeres. <laughs> Le voy a poner Así in this moment. Conteste. In this moment. Ajá. Excuse me, I ordered chicken lasagna and you bring uh, me. We'll change your dish. I'm sorry. Your dish. <coughs> Espera otra media okay. hora. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. In this moment, we'll change you. Your dish. We'll change. Le digo yo. Ok, thank you. Ok. <risa> Madre, y, falta, y falta el otro reclamo. Ahí va el otro. Ok, okay. Falta I la hope. Coca. Es que falta se la, la llevó tibia. Sin hielo. Pero entonces solo era ok, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you. Ok, ajá, ok, thank you. Pero él sí ya se había comido la lasaña de pollo. <risa> Por eso estaba pensando, fíjate. Bien, de, 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 but, déjeme la, but no problem. Déjeme la lasaña de camarones mientras me traen la otra que quiero. De gratis. De chato, diría. Él no le dijo que ya se la había comenzado a comer. Ay. Eh, Yo, I think, I como yo, your, pienso, uh -huh. yo pienso, uh -huh. in five minutes. I think in five minutes, minutes. your food are ready. O oh, solo, I think in five minutes. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. I think Bye. in five minutes. 
Y yo le digo, ok, I hope eh, uh -huh. that you bring, no, that you serve my correct breakfast. I hope, man. I hope that you serve my correct breakfast. Breakfast. Bueno, entonces ahí sería cinco minutos, ¿verdad? Ajá, cinco minutos. Five minutes later. ¿A, a dónde? ¿Ahorita? Sí, sí, como dice, le dijo que en cinco minutos, ah, entonces hay que esperar ah, cinco minutos. Ajá, y dice. Minutes later. Ajá. Minutes later. Cinco mi minutos después. Ajá. Um, sorry for the wait. Lo siento por la espera. Eh, mm. Sorry for... Your food is ready. No sería por espera, porque wait creo que nos espera. O sea, es no. verbo esperar, pero espera no sé cómo sería para mí. Vamos a ver. Lo siento por la espera. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver cómo es esto. I can I help you anything else. Anything healthy? Uh -huh. eh. I will take the check. I will take the check. So, how do you say that word? Sure. Sure. Uh -huh. Here you go. Here you sure. go. Sure, sure, go. Here, here, the key. Como here you. So here you go. So here you go. Ah. Uh -huh. Solo que caliente como a tiempo vino la teacher. Hi teacher. <ríe> Apareció en el Hello. momento. <ríe> you were just calling me. <ríe> ¿Cómo se dice bebidas como calientes? O sea, pero no calientes como café, sino que cuando, por ejemplo, una soda, una limonada. Ah, que como... está tibia. Ajá, ¿cómo se dice? Warm. Esto sería server the drink warm. Ajá, warm. this drink is warm. Warm. Así, ¿verdad? Con N, ¿verdad? Yes, con M. M. W-A-R-M. Yes, warm. Server, serve, server, the drink warm and appetizer cool. Ok. Yes. Ok. Pues sigamos, entonces a ver qué dicen los customers. <laughs> customer. Y le, y le voy a poner ahí you. Hugh. <risa> ¿Y cómo se escribe Hugh? <risa> Para decir que... Va, entonces, customer Hugh. one. Vamos Hugh, a poner así. Es. It's oh, my God. Drink. Pues sí, para ponerlo. We finished, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. All right, good.
eh, casi siempre de las clases eh, voy, veo que, que voy a cenar Entonces, con, con eso más todavía Entonces, me duermo más noche ya tipo 12 12 y media ajá <ríe> sí. porque como hago el trabajo vengo llegando a veces a las 8 de tengo el tráfico entonces, ya vengo justo sí. en el tiempo. Sí. Llega justita. Ajá. Y últimamente, ¿cómo me están? Uh, podría ser de las dos formas. Wait a mm -hmm. moment, please. Esperen un momento, por favor. Uh -huh. Luego usted se retira. Y se lleva los platos. <ríe> ok, me lo llevo. Retour. Bueno, regreso otra vez. Pero... Yes. Y le diré nuevamente. Hello. O <ríe> algo, no sé. Hello. No, la palabra nunca la utilizo. Hola. Oh, oh. Nunca la usa. Here you are. Here you are. Uh, uh, your order again, por ejemplo. Aquí está la orden nuevamente. Here you are the order again. Porque como lo ha cambiado y lo lleva mm. nuevamente. Entonces, here you have. The oh, order again. Here you are. Aquí está. So your order again. Ok, pero si se dice en este caso, aquí tienes. Aquí tienes su orden de nuevo. Ajá. Uh -huh. I think here you have your order again. Um, I believe that sí, se puede de las dos formas. Uh -huh. Creo yo. Teacher, can you help us in this case? <laughs> What is a more appropriate way to say here you are or here you have? Cualquiera de las dos es correcto. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, no problem. Thank you, teacher. Right. Uh, y eh, creo que les voy a regalar algo extra oh, por el problema. Eso. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry for the inconvenience. You're going to have a 30% discount on your check. <laughs> <laughs> Or an extra order of cheese sticks. <laughs> no, no le cobraré el cheesecake. Le daré oh, tu cheesecake. Uh, your dessert is free. <laughs> Our dessert is free. Thank you. <laughs> you are so... <laughs> okay. No, sorry for the for the inconvenience. Okay. Sorry for inconvenience. Vamos a poner sorry for the inconvenience. Inconvenience. Uh -huh. Y como digo que el restaurante les dará o ya está ley. Está bien. Está bien. No tengo esta compu, no la puedo mover. Cabal. Ya ah. casi no saca. No sé, teacher. Are you ready? I think so. We <laughs> are ready. Ok, good. Sí, solo estoy chequeando que ya todos estén ready. Porque si hay unos grupos que ya están ready ya rato, pero otros que no. Okay. ¿Y lo que cuesta un poco? Yes, I know. Crear una nueva conversación de cero. Mm -hmm. Bueno, que ni de cero. <laughs> Some ideas. Así es que estamos listos, teacher. We are ready.
I had the tomato soup for an appetizer and orange orange duck for my makers. And for gentlemen? And for number two, yes. I had to the sandwich with salmon for a started and garlic shrimp with the main course. Wait, it's, can I get you something to drink? drink. Mm -hmm. I take a lemonade with soda. <coughs> and customer two, I take a soda sugar free. Waitress coming right up. Ready. Yes, yes teacher. Sir. Ready. Good. Everybody's ready. Everybody done. Mm. Right. Mm. It's time to talk about food. Oh my God. See, yes, everybody is back. Okay. Let's aprovech to confirm the attendance before <clears throat> you do the conversations with the restaurant issues. Okay. So, let's start. Adriana. Here, I'm here. Thank you, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Christina went to the hospital. Elsie. Present teacher. Fatima. Present teacher. Herman. Present teacher. Hector. Present teacher. Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present Lucy. teacher. Present. Mayra. Lodi. Present teacher. Roberto. Present, present, Mayra. Samuel. Present. Vitelia. Vitelia no se ha conectado, ¿verdad? Walter. Present. Thank you. Hmm. Wendy. And Irma. I am here, teacher Wendy. Thank you, thank you. All right. Veamos. Todos están ready, ¿verdad? Yes. No, no, no. <ríe> Not yet. Les faltó. Nos faltó la despedida. Goodbye, have a good night. Enjoy. Thank you for coming. <ríe> Come back soon. <ríe> Yo les cobré. <ríe> Uy, for free les salió esa food. <ríe> ok. Because of the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. It's a star. The first group was, in theory, made of three people. <laughs> that was Hazel, Irma, and Samuel. I think Hazel never answered, right? Uh -huh. Did you prepare the conversation, Samuel and, and Irma? Yes, yep. you did. Okay, are you ready? ready? You want to share a screen or anything? Okay. It's necessary. No. I mean, it's optional. It's not necessary. If you if you don't have, it's okay. All right. Lights, memorize, action. Uh, good afternoon. Can you help me, please? Uh, yes, tell me what can I do for you? Uh, I meet Israel. I you like, meet Israel. Uh, okay. Meal. I like meal well done. Okay, I'm sorry for this issue and I will fix uh, right now with the chef. I changed your meat in this moment and sorry again. Hey, please. Okay, and for this issue, I will get, I will give you a free dessert for, for you enjoyed it. And, and again, I'm sorry for this issue. Hey, thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> you see, some people are getting free dessert. <laughs> nice. Okay, <clears throat> please do not repeat this Asia again. <laughs> some people usually say that, right? Okay. Yes, it would probably not necessary to change the food, but just to ask the chef to cook it well again, right? But it's great. All right. Second, we got Mayra, Nui, and Walter, but Mayra didn't, didn't charge for the food. <laughs> okay. improvise. She just improvise. Okay. okay. Start. Action. Ready. Uh, okay. Good night. Welcome to the Tree Guanacos restaurant. Do you have a reset for tonight? Yes, we have. Uh, your name, please. Walter. Walter, your name? Yes, uh, Mr. Salaya. Uh, okay, you are. Follow me, please. Okay, thank you. Sit down, please. Here's the menu. Here is the menu. No <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to take your order? Yes, we are. Yes, please. I have tomato soup and chicken sandwich. And for drink, I have a lemonade. Okay. Yes, uh, for, for me, please, for a starter, um, I would like to, to eat uh, a chicken salad. For the main course, I would like to eat a, a chicken grill. For to drink, I would like to drink a cold soda. And for a dessert, I would like to eat a cheesecake, please. Okay. Uh, just confirm your order. I'm going to repeat again. Uh, uh, I had tomato soup, no, tomato soup, a chicken sandwich and drink lemon. Mr. Celaya started a chicken salad and made her some chicken grill and, and free potato, potato. Yes. And drink salt pool and dessert cheesecake. Is correct? Do you order? Yes, That's it's correct. Right. It's correct. Okay. My boy. Se nos trae. We wait for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> we wait for a moment. <laughs> here's your order. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, my soap is cold. Oh, really? Yes, I don't like cold soap. And I can see my my chicken is uncooked too. Uh, we have the issues. We have to. To inform to the waiters, we have to yes. call the waiters. Waiters, okay. please. What is everything? Excuse me, but my soap is cold. Yes, and my chicken is uncooked. Really? I'm so sorry. I apologize for this case. Uh, I will change the soap and the chicken. Okay, thank uh, you. Wait, wait a moment, please. Uh, re return. Here, here you order again. Sorry for inconvenience in in by in by the the housing bit dessert and coffee and coffee free. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the service. We we wait for you so. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, good. You see, <clears throat> you have a long time speaking English now. <laughs> sorry. Nice. That was a long story. <laughs> Great. No, <sorry>. no, nice. <laughs> <laughs> the, <food. laughs> the food was free at the end. The food was free tonight. <laughs> uh, on the house. <laughs> the house invites you. Okay. All right. Adriana, Carlos, and Elsie. Ah, another long story. Okay. <clears throat> Voy a compartir una imagen, teacher. Sure, go ahead. 
Se ve. Yes. Yes. Que okay, permítanme. Go ahead. Ready, go. Hello, welcome to El Rosal. Are you ready to order? Excuse me, do you have tacos? No, we don't have tacos, but our specialty is pasta. What kind of lasagna do you have? Yes, I do. We have chicken lasagna. We have four cheeses and shrimp lasagna. <laughs> what do you, would you like? I want chicken lasagna, please. You could order raviolis and also different pizzas. I want a margarita pizza. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, I want a lemonade. And you? I want a Coca-Cola. Uh, your order will take 35 minutes to be, to be ready. How is everything? Excuse me. I order chicken lasagna and you bring me shrimp lasagna. I'm sorry, in this moment we'll change your dish. Okay, thank you. Excuse me, sir, you bring me a lemonade and I want a Coca-Cola. I'm sorry, right away, I bring your Coca-Cola. Elsie, this time we are not going to tip to the waiter. <laughs> That's okay, all, teacher. <laughs> That's all, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, no tips. No tips. Se fueron las ladies, no le dieron el tip. Bye. Bye. How do you say? How do you say tacaño? <laughs> stingy. <laughs> stingy. <laughs> stingy. Okay. Tienen que tener cuidado con esa palabra, porque stingy con g, g es tacaño, pero si es stinky, es otra cosa. Ah, ok. Mejor no digo nada. No. <risa> stingy. En este okay. caso, stinky sería como apestoso. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, okay. Es con K. Y con G es tacaño. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Next group. Catherine and Roberto. Very good exposition. Very good. Roberto yeah. Carlos, like a singer. Sí. Good morning. <laughs> uh, good morning. Are you ready to order? Good morning. Yes. I think that we'll order a Salvadorian breakfast. Do you want coffee or orange juice? Mm, coffee, please. Do you want something else? Yes, bring me a three milk cake, please. Okay, in 15 minutes, your order is ready. 15 minutes later. Okay, your American breakfast and your pancakes are ready. Enjoy. What? I don't order this food. Really? Sorry for the issues. Right now, check the order and serve your correct food. I'm hungry too much. How many times have to wait for my food? I think in 50, I think in five minutes. Okay, I hope that you serve my correct breakfast. Five minutes later. Sorry for the wait. Your food is ready. Oh, okay, thanks. 
You are polite. You're welcome. Finish. Done. Finish. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think they were uh, waiting for an ending. <laughs> okay, great. Good, good story. Let's see who's next. Hector and Wendy. And when did you come? Okay. Teacher, can I share? Sure. Wait. Lo compartí, compañero. Yeah. Yes. Se ve. Yes. 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 Okay. Wait a moment. Hello. My name is Hector. I will be your waiter. Are you ready to order? Yes, I will have the salt for a petty sir. Um, is 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 quick for my course. Can I get something to drink? Do you have red wheat? Of course, I have. Uh, I will thank women. How is everything? I am not satisfied with my squid because it's not cooked. So I'm so sorry. I remove it to give to give it more cooking. Okay, thank you, you. Can I get you anything else? I will I will thank the check. Sure. Here you go. Finish. Ooh, nice. No discounts. <laughs> Nothing for free for the inconvenience. <laughs> Background music is good. Yes. It was like a real restaurant, actually. <laughs> okay, who's next? After Wendy and Hector is Fatima and Lucy. Yes. Hello, are you there? Are ready to order? Yes, I I have the soup, the kaiser, and the steak for my main course. Okay, uh, can I get you something to drink? I take a soda, please. Okay, coming right up. <laughs> Waitress, please come in. Yes, yes. I have an issue with my soup. Oh, what issue do you have? There is a hair in the soup. We are very sorry for that inconvenience. We can offer you um, a new soup and uh, the uh, dessert for free. Yes, I agree. But be more careful with handle full, please. Okay, thank you so much for your comprehension. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. That was a very comprehensive customer. <laughs> Talking about issues. <laughs> okay, nice. What's the next one? Oh my God, hold on. Let's see. Yes, the last one was Fermán and Isabel. Teacher, we need one more member. <laughs> really? Yeah. Who was it? Uh, hicimos uh, una conversación para tres, pero solo somos dos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
it's a bit problem. <laughs> and the other the other character is the waiter or or another customer. Mm, uh, waiter. Okay. Okay. I can be the waitress if you share the screen. Wait a moment. I'm a very terrible waitress, you know. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be an impolite waitress. Uh, in, like in, La Rosalia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, uh, uh, Isabel, uh, you customer too? Okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. And Isabel is just laughing. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Good afternoon, sirs. Are you ready to order? Yes, I have the tomato soup for appetizer and orange duck for my, my main course. And for gentlemen, for the gentleman? Yes, I had the sandwich with salmon for the salad and garlic shrimp with a uh, main course. Mm, can I get you anything to drink? I'll take a lemonade with soda. And I take a soda sugar free. I'll be right up. Ten minutes later. <laughs> Ten minutes, not twenty minutes later. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Customer <clears throat> one to customer two. What's happening with drink? Call it to wait. Wait it. Customer two. Excuse me. What happened with our orders? Sorry. At a minute, we we'll serve your starters and drinks. 30 minutes later, server the drink, water, and appetizer call. Customer one. Oh my God, it's drink are warm. And customer two, and the appetizer is cold. And, and the customer call to waitress. Customer, excuse me, sir. Could you please give me the check and cancel our main course, please? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Then we're just going to be fired. <laughs> okay. So she didn't even have time to, to apologize. Oh, my God. Wow. Not terrible, definitely. All right, well done, congratulations. You've done an awesome performance. I told you, you, get, you have like great skills for acting. Okay, so these are usually the expressions that we use in English when we order food, right? So I'll have, or I would like to have, right? Can I get you something to drink? Okay, yes, I'll take the soda, I'll have uh, wine, whatever you order, right? Can I get anything else? Can I get you anything else? So these are some of the common expressions, okay? So this was a review that we also had about could and my for polite suggestion, right? So we're going to keep going, I think we missed this exercise. No sé si ustedes hicieron el exercise six. Ya lo habían resuelto en sus, en sus manuals or no. Bye. Vamos a tratar de hacer el match entre las uh, promotional strategies y lo que significa cada una de ellas. Estas son como estrategias de, de publicidad, de marketing, right? So, aquí hay experts en esto, así que there's not a problem. <laughs> Veamos, sí, it's a little bit, uh, probably different vocabulary, un vocabulario que no conocemos tanto. We have publicity stunts, bundling, public relations, royal of, loyalty offering, sorry, and sampling. Personalized incentives, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it, offering several products for sale as a combined product, a professional maintenance of a favorable public image, 
and a planned event designed to attract the public's attention, okay? So this is something you're going to discuss with your partner. ¿Cuál creen que es el significado de cada una de estas estrategias de publicity? Y luego las compartimos, okay? I know you already have, eso lo tienen en la página 16 of the manual. But if you don't have it, I can still share the screenshot. Let's see, vamos a crear los groups so that you can work with somebody else. Five minutes. en el paréntesis colocar la, la, la palabra que, que lo, donde lo ubiquemos, ¿verdad? De, de acuerdo al significado. Mm -hmm. que tiene. Ver, Public ejemplo, stone. Stone, stone es truco. Truco. Ah, como trucos publicitarios, algo así. Puede ah, ser. No. Quiero ver, personal incendios, promotion. Y bundling, bundling. Un link es empaquetado. Ah, empaquetado. Ajá. Public relations, las relaciones públicas, vean. Sí. Loyal, loyalty offerings, como. Como. Como ofertas genuinas. En ofertas. No es ofrecer como diferentes productos, algo así, creo que. Es que loyalty es lealtad. Entonces no sé si se refiere a oferta genuina. Loyal. Upa, loyal. Loyalty. Loyalty. No sé qué. Es lealtad. Loyal. Supuestamente loyal. es oferta de fidelidad, algo así. Como de lealtad. Ajá, como que fueran ¿Cuál? ofertas genuinas, que no hay mentira Ajá. en ellas. Algo así. Ajá, lo o, o también, sí. o también entiendo yo como, como si usted frecuenta ese lugar, le dan como un incentivo. Ajá. ¿Cuál podría quedar Ajá, ahí por, de las por cinco? frecuentarlo. Una regalía, Ajá. digamos, como le llaman. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, la cuarta dice The Professional Maintenance of a Favorable Public Image. Image. No, pues no. Por ejemplo. O sea, que esa D podría ser la, la, la primera línea. Personalized, personalized, upa. Personalized incentives. Como un incentivo personal, ¿verdad? O sea, Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso es la D. Letter D. Ajá, letter D. Letter D. For... No sé qué dice Carlos. I agree with ¿Cuál, you? ¿Cuál? ¿La primera? Ajá. Uh -huh. Letter D. O sea, D, letter D, and the first line. Ajá. Right. No, right. Loyalty. right. O sea, loyalty right. offering iría en la primera. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yep. Sí, puede ser, ajá. Pongamos eso. Dice de que public, public relation, the professional maintenance 
us available public image. No sé, yo, yo pienso uh, que se puede ah, Pienso que estaba viendo la última, dice, a planet event designed to attract the public's attention. O sea, este es un evento planeado, diseñado para atraer la atención con publicidad. Uh -huh. Entonces, no sé si se refiere a la A, que es trucos publicitarios. Ajá. De acuerdo. Puede ser la Pongamos A, la última. Sí. 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 sí, sí. Veamos. Aquí casi por descartar, Uy, vamos. <ríe> por ah, como por descartar. A grupo. Fíjense que eh, este de, de offering several products for sale o as one combined product. Esa yo la asocio con este de bond, bundling. 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 Ajá, bundling. Será la... Será la tercera del lado derecho. Veamos. Ofer de es ofertas de lealtades. Ajá. Offering. The promotion. The promotion was a product by distributing some of the. Mm -hmm. Y el, el último sampling. The planet even signed to attract the public attention. Uh, ese tendría que ser quizás. Um, Public relationship. ¿Cuál Relation. El último. El, ah, el... ajá. Un, un evento planeado, diseñado para la, la atracción de la, de la atención del público. Acciones públicas. Uh -huh. Podría sí, ser. Sí, vale, ser. Uh -huh. Digo. By the Los samplings. Event. Para ser como un sentido personalizado, dice. Uh -huh. Para solo ofrecer a productos combinados con Claro que la oferta de fidelidad y el offering. La oferta de fidelidad, ¿verdad? Oferta de fidelidad, ajá. Oferta de fidelidad, ajá. Oferta de fidelidad, ajá. Yo lo puse en personal y personalizado. We finished, teacher. All right, thank you. Eso no, no me recuerdo, o no sé. Okay. Tal vez sea bonos extra. <risa> <risa> Por estar viendo los videos, pero no, ya, ya, solo como... Solo cuando falto clase veo el video. Sí, cabal. Ahí está todo ya, este. Por si faltamos un día. Sí, es que yo creo que ese es el objetivo. O, por ejemplo, reforzar si en dado caso tiene duda de algún contenido. Sí. Ajá. Sí. Para allá. La verdad es que sí es algo. Algo tedioso eso. Uh -huh. Uh, can you help us, teacher? All right, tell me. Uh, about the bundling, mm -hmm. uh, we find like a... Como, a definition. Uh, it's como, say, a combo paquete. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. okay. Yes. Entonces, I think that the bundling is the offering several pro several products for mm -hmm. sale as one combined exactly. product. Exactly. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. All right. No problem. You finished, right? Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Almost finished. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I will see where that's it. Uh -huh. Bundling is como paquete, several. como promotion. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, offering yeah. several products is uh, the B. Uh -huh. Offering. Uh Finish, but of course, <laughs> sure. Veamos cómo quedó esto. Uh -huh. Veamos. Vamos a poner la letter a la par del concepto. Me queda más claro acá. Personalized incentives. ¿Cuál de todos estos marketing o publicity strategies considera que es? Letter D. Personalized offering. No. I'm oh, sorry. Personalized incentives. Okay. Loyalty, Loyalty offering. offering. Loyalty offering, yes. That's right. Que le mandan a hacer hasta con el nombre. ¿verdad? Por ser un cliente leal. Ok. The promotion of a product by distributing samples of it. Y. Publicity stands. A. Y. Sampling. Sampling. Sampling, right? Giving little samples. In the supermarket, this is very common. Right? When they want to introduce a new product, they After usually... After the pandemic? Uh, it's kind of hard, right? Because people don't usually take things to yeah. eat. Mm -hmm. Before the pandemic was very common, probably. Uh -huh. That was uh, sampling. Before, yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, offering several products for sale as one combined product. <laughs> A. Publicity stunts? Everybody agree? B. Letter B. Letter B. B. <laughs> es bundling, right? Cuando le dicen, le ofrecemos este paquete por el mismo precio de bla, bla, bla. It's a big discount. You get it on this on sale. And bla, 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 bla. Especially in services. That happens, right? As in laboratories that they offer you like different type of tests for one single price. Mm -hmm. uh, gyms also do that. And some doctors as well. Uh, driving in schools, they also do that. Right. The professional maintenance of favor favorable public image. Letter C. Letter C of yes, C. That's public relationships, right? And a plan the band designed to attract the public's attention. A. 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 Publicity stunts, yes. Usually, they create an event to definitely. Um, publicize right a brand a product i remember the last the last type of event similar to this one was the magdia feliz or something like that obviously they were donating 
the incomes for a good cause but i mean they were advertising the restaurant a lot right okay good teacher i have a question Tell in me. the homework mm -hmm. one nine one point nine mm -hmm. is uh, the last one is b really yes okay let's double check then let's start 1.9 right 1.9 okay hold on i can make that maybe it's my new página javier 1.9 okay mm -hmm. the last one mm -hmm. hold on Okay, uh-huh. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mm -hmm. A planned event is to attract the public's attention. Yes. Let's put it like bundling. Uh-huh. Sure. And it should be publicity stunts. Yes. Uh-huh. True, true, true. Okay. Well, we're gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. All right. Last attendance and today's turn to stay for the one-on-one -on -one session. Let's do it as quickly as possible. Yesterday was Elsie's turn, so today is Fatima. Okay, Adriana. Present. Uh, Carlos. I'm right here. Uh, let's see, Elsie. Fatima. Present teacher. Fairman. Present teacher. Okay, Hector. Present teacher. Isabel. Catherine. Present. Lucy. Present teacher. Present. Mayra. Present. <laughs> Nuri. Present teacher. Roberto. Present. Samuel. Present. Walter. Present teacher. Wendy. Irma. Present teacher. Ok, entonces nos quedamos con... Ajá, ¿con qué? Díganlo todo junto. <laughs> Ahí tú, yo soy Fátima. Fátima. Fátima, ¿estás listo? Sí. No. No. Bueno. <risa> Tienen miedo. <risa> Un examen lo voy a poner. Ah, saben, saben, Fátima. También <risa> yupa. Ay, qué como son. Hoy, hoy le toca son, que la regaño, Fátima. Son yuca las preguntas. Son yuca las preguntas, Fátima. Tuvo <risa> que haber estudiado. Santo, ni me imagino cómo han de ser con sus hijos. Bye, tu mocito morro. Qué buen dictador, el psycho. Good night, bro. Good night, bro. Bye. 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 Hi, sí, ya lo pensé. Pero ya le puse su attendance, no worry. Ok, gracias. Lo que pasa es que me estaba desviando la de la casa de mi mamá para mi papá. Pero... Eso veo que va en ruta todavía, Wendy. Sí. Careful. Good night, teacher. Good night, see you tomorrow. Teacher. Yes. Eh, una consulta, como yo no sé en las primeras dos clases, eh, ¿qué es lo que es? O sea, no sé por qué siempre escoge a alguien al final. Ah, sí, es que ajá, debe ser una sesión de uno a uno con una persona y lo voy haciendo en orden de lista. Ah, pero sobre la clase o, o qué. No, es por si usted tiene alguna consulta o quiere que le explique algo. Ah, ok, ok. No no sí. <risa> la estaba ajá, están asustando a Fátima. Ajá, no, ah, usted no sabe okay. cómo son. <risa> <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hi, Fatima. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, mentira. <laughs> ¿Cómo está? Bien. Qué bueno. ¿Cómo le ha ido en este curso? ¿Cómo se siente? Bien. Bien. Um... 
capaz y siento, siento como que me cuesta un poquito más el, 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 el entender porque en otros cursos como de había, ya había estudiado inglés en otros lugares y siempre como que me había mantenido en básico. Ajá. Entonces, Hoy hizo el salto a intermedio. Pasaba y ahora que, que empecé en esa forma así uh -huh. de básico, igual uh -huh. en básico me sentía como, como que lo estuviera eh, repasando uh -huh. y algunas cosas que también les añadía pero uh -huh. ajá ahorita es esta este módulo sí lo siento como todo nuevo <risa> hoy sí tengo que estudiar dice ajá sí me cuesta un poquito más y por ejemplo el tema de cuándo usar cool y my eh, sí sentí como como que me faltaba vocabulario no, sino el, el contexto de como cuando lo voy a usar ajá, cuando sí, sí, la verdad es que tiene varios usos pero en el en el tema o en el contenido que lo presenta, el manual lo presenta para sugerir de una forma educada, es como podrías hacer tal cosa o si querés podrías hacer tal y tal cosa ¿Sí? Ajá, en ese contexto lo presenta el manual. Obviamente el CUR y el MAI son para possibilities. My, o sea, tienen, es como un, un modal auxiliary que lo que lo que hace es, es que suene más nice la recomendación o la posibilidad de algo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por eso se llama modal auxiliary. Es como auxilian al verbo para que suene como más polite. Uh -huh. Quizás como más ejemplos de cómo utilizar Sí, sí, definitivamente más ejemplos sería, sería lo ideal Yo, bueno, voy a revisar igual la platform, la platform y a ver cuánto, cuánto más les extienden ahí Porque sí, el manual da muy poquitos That's right uh -huh. Sobre todo en ese contexto, porque igual tiene otros usos Ajá lo vamos a tomar en cuenta para hacerlo. Tomorrow les pongo un quiz de eso. Ah. <risa> ok. Bueno, que me alegra. ¿Hay algo más que le pueda ayudar? No, teacher. Y, y ajá, y lo que usted dice que es cuando uno necesita como más vocabulario. Y eso como podría... Pues, si quiere, yo le, le, le comparto algunos links para que practique. Igual con las aplicaciones, como ya conocen varios, como Duolingo, para ir aumentando vocabulario. Que se lo va a mantener bien busy, eso sí, porque Duolingo es bien demandante. So, it's like practice, practice, practice. Y una lección diaria es lo mínimo que puede hacer. Uh -huh. Eso para incrementar el vocabulario. Y de preferencia... Sí, llevar la plataforma, la plataforma al día y ir resolviendo los ejercicios también de forma manual en el, en, en el manual impreso, valga la redundancia. Ir creando también sus propios ejemplos con las estructuras y vocabulario estudiado, también eso. Para que se le reafirme y no se le olvide. Sí. Uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. Eso. Ok. Bueno, thank you so very much. Gracias. Por este, y ya vio que no era como le, le dijeron. <risa> <risa> que son Antes malos. Una teacher Olmos. ¿De verdad? Ajá. Ah. Yo sabía que no iba a ser examen. <risa> ah, ya sabía, sí, ellos son malos. Pero they like to joke around, eso es lo que pasa. <risa> bueno, they are nice people, actually. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye.